we thought Castiera was dead. Now it's not. Now it's just more annoying. So, stun Tira, why in second Castiera? Today I'm bringing you, let's be obnoxious and troll our opponents, Castiera. So, let's get into the main deck. It is nothing fancy. Play one over. We are doing double Castiera Scare Claw. Big reason why is because we got Curly running around. We got a lot of cards that are unaffected by your opponent's monstrous activated effects. And we want to be able to turn that off. That way our fingers can swing over, banish, etc. So we're just able to out that Curly Noir. Having two is great. Having that just one kind of makes it hard and wonky and just going to get spun back anyways. But two is good. Two Unicorn. I'm only allowed to have two anyways. Two Rise Heart. I don't think we need more than two. Three adds consistency, then you can play like Dweller and stuff like that, but I wasn't really finding the room or the need for it. So playing three Fenrir. Now, probably the, the most obnoxious hand trap in the game, playing three Shifter, especially in this format, which is Shifter says, it's my turn now. I don't know what, I don't know what else. Then we got three Ash, because Rogue Dex, and it's impactful enough to cause damage on those bricked up combo decks and three infinite impermanence only nine hand traps we were thinking about playing 12 adding in maybe uh, nibs or something a little bit more like maybe effect failures or drolls just didn't want to over ha have too much and end up breaking up pretty bad moving over to our traps we are on one cast year preparations one big bang kind of the standard ratios if we're playing ogre and then we are also playing two skill drain. Now, the reason why we play skill drain, we got big bodies and big bodies with skill drain and heated spell equals pretty big OTKs and pretty big like show stopping stuff. Not to mention that when we activate Shangri La under skill drain, we can act, use the field spell to pop skill drain and still continue with our plays. So if we're in a situation or in a spot where like, you know what, we can push ravine, we're in a healthy, controlled game state. Let's go ahead and pop our own skill drain and just go from there. That's it for our spells and traps. Now, we are on double tactics. This is not a blind second variant, so if we were, I'm going to showcase that one of those probably around Friday. And it's just basically, <laughs> it's blow our card dot deck, which is really good. And then we're playing three Theosis, three of the field spells, three Birth. We are maxing out on all the consistency cards. You just gotta do it. We wanna see everything. To wrap it up, we are playing three dimensional fissure and three pot of prosperity, making this a 40 card deck, 40 card stun deck. It is, it's fun. It still makes your opponent think. If you're looking for a good, fun, local level deck, this might be it. And I mean, cast your is cast your, and it's gonna perform well enough even at a bigger event, just for the sole fact that. Shifter, Key Fissure, are just cards. You open up, you open up Shifter, and you could, you could just win the game from there. The scoop scoop. Now for the extra deck, we are playing one Gravity Controller, one Nightmare Servers, and one Donner. We are no longer playing the Rise Heart targets, since we don't have Rise Heart. Well, a Rise Heart, but we can also play. Um, Dogmatic of Punishment targets instead, if we really want to go that route and, you know, really set up for that going first strategy. But you can always play with that in the side and act makes your extra deck reflects that. I just wanted to have more ranks, ranks of a toolbox. Playing one, number 11 big guy. We're playing Draco Sack to out our opponent's skill drain. That way we continue to play and just win games because Lab is a deck and that's annoying. One Flare Metal. One arm dragon. This is just absolutely disgusting. Just pop pop two. Now for the OTK package, we are playing the Odd Eyes engine. We're playing one Odd, Odd Eyes Absolute, one Red Eyes Odd Eyes Rebellion, and then one Odd Eyes Rebellion Overlord Dragon. Dragon Overlord. You go, you link in, you uh, exit this, link into either donor or the anti gravity controller. This affects procs. You're gonna go over. Odd Rebellion and Overlord can attack three times, 3k beater. Pretty good. Triple Shang, one Zeus, 
and one Baron. We can still make Baron pretty much any time as long as we open up Ash and we don't have skill drain going Baron Shane is still possible. It's just really funny. Um, just thought I wanted to showcase something that I, I really enjoy annoying my friends with. Um, the only way you play Shifter in is obviously to win, especially if you just want to say, hey, you're playing tier elements this weekend. I guess I'm playing Shifter.deck. But hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the rest of the content. Remember, we're not bad at the game, guys. We just got to show up better.